Hello everyone and welcome to today's session. I am Roshan Jaswal, co-founder of Insured Mind, a software platform with CRM, sales and marketing automation, designed and developed only for insurance industry. For those of you just joining us, welcome. A recorded session of this webinar will be available on Insured Mind website. And today I have my co-panelist, uh, Paula Keith. Uh, she's a senior solutions manager with us um, from Insured Mind, and she would be uh, helping us navigate back and forth. So feel free to um, ask questions through the uh, Q and A and chat messages as we continue to start on this. Um, Paula, if you want to take a quick minute to introduce yourself before we jump in. Yeah, thanks everybody for joining us. Yes, so um, I'm uh, one of the newer members of the team and. Uh, Absolutely love this platform. I wish when I was an agent, I had some a tool like this to utilize. So I get the opportunity to talk to agents um, about the power of the platform and looking forward to interacting with you today. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Paula. All right, so um, let's get started. So what is Insured Mind? Um, and what kind of problem it is helping agencies solve? You know, we'll start with three core problems that we see a lot of agencies are looking and to solve for. One is we talk about conversion. Second, we talk about engagement, and third is retention. And these are some of the standards that we see with the agencies. Are you able to hit your 27% lead conversion? Are you able to have a 20% contact engagement? Or are you able to hit your 97% client retention? If you are not, there is a room for growth and there is a room to make that better. And that is what Insured Mind helps you accomplish. How do we help you do this is the next um, probably 58 minutes of conversation is what you're gonna hear from me, how we are accomplishing that. So the three goals we are talking about is conversion, engagement, and retention. Those three are accomplished through our model, what we call a SEAM, S-E-A-N. Let me pull that up. S stands for sales. What are the elements in sales? We're gonna talk in a bit. Um, engagement, E stands for engagement. Any communication with the prospects or with the current client. A for analytics. What analytics do we have to know more about our agency, to know about our producers, to know more about our clients, and to know more about our deals? Every detail of each of these segments are put into um, in a wonderful visualized storytelling mode that helps you know better or gets, gets you closer to your agency from an analytics perspective. And the last one is mobile. Having a mobile app to understand your agency, to connect with your clients. As we, uh, you know, more often than not, when we say why Geico is doing better than others, you know, and one of the reasons is because they are in the client's pocket. So what are we doing today to make sure we are in client's pocket? And that is one thing we want to make sure we, uh, we touch base on that. And so here are some of the elements that we talk about what gets offered to your agencies, whether it's a CRM for insurance agencies, deal board, um, or a pipeline or a task manager. And then in engagement, it's, and we will go through the details of each of them. So it's just warming you up to what does these four modules um, going to look at. And trust me, this is not going to be a PowerPoint presentation. We will dive live into the product and we will look into each of these modules, how they interact with one another. And thank you all for continuing to join. Um, good to see the number is literally doubled since we started. So yeah, that's great. Um, um, and then in analytics, we're talking about the business analytics, the sales analytics, and the KPIs of each of your producers or your CSRs, and how you're tracking that. Mobility is all about taking the information of the policyholders policy and giving it to them so that they are in a better spot to be able to make those decisions um, or make those uh, communications with you in a much more smarter and smoother way. So let's jump right into what is agency portal and what are the elements that we see into the agency portal. And I'm gonna just quickly touch base on the 10 or 12 of those and then dive right into the product and talk about uh, some of these um, elements that we see here. And I just want to make sure um, if there are questions, make sure um, you type them in and we will also open it up at the end for the Q&A. So just want to make sure you guys have that. Um, I will also be launching a couple of um, um, polls. 
So if you have uh, any insight on those, feel free to jump in and answer those. It will be just a binary yes and no question. Um, so talking about the agency portal, what does it include? As we talk about the sales and service pipeline, it talks about you know how are you building your CRM so you know how many folks are coming into the system so you can um, know at what stage they are because we understand sales is not a binary process. It is not, yes, it is sold in a moment. It goes through a process. So we want to make sure if you have 10, 20, 30, or 50 sales lead or prospects that we are working on, we have a very good understanding of where they are, what we are doing, what's next to close those deals. Similarly, in the opportunities, this opportunity is not the external opportunity, but opportunity within the current book of business. How are we identifying them? So today, we look at opportunity as four core ones. One, from your renewals. Second is your um, cross-sell and upsell. Third is about your um, ex-dates. And fourth is the win back. And we'll go into the details of each of them. Um, third is goal management. It helps your agents hit their goal, whether it's in terms of the dollar value or the amount of number of sales they need to make. We'll talk about that in a bit. Task management. It's so important that when an agency is working together in a collaborative way, how as a uh, it's working in an assembly line. It's transitioning one work. Somebody may be a hunter. They are going and producing a tons of lead. Let them do that. So somebody is in the back office trying to convert those leads into, uh, into cu customers or nurturing them to become a customer. How are we making sure each of those things are happening when they need to happen? Um, CRM account um, and uh, 360 making sure we are carrying and capturing every information that we can about a client in the CRM to be able to manage all the details. Agency pay, this is a brand new thing that we have just added where you are able to do agency generated bills and be able to make this transaction right from the system. Um, chat from the mobile app or the text messages, how you are able to, and again, we have written some wonderful case study on the chat and the text messages, how just in COVID-19 situation, um, agencies have been able to successfully launch chat. I'll give you one example. We had an agency who at an average was using 350 to 400 text messages in a month. That agency, just um, because of this COVID situation and how everything became remote, they transitioned and they are at an average monthly, their transaction is around 70,000 text messages. And trust me, it's working for them, working really well. They have been a wonderful success case study for us from the text messaging perspective. To know more, um, ask us and we'll be able to guide you to that um, case study. Next on the dashboard, as we said, you know how we are bringing it all together on the agency portal to give you that visual story of your agency. Uh, marketing automation, that's um, another very powerful thing that we have seen is working very well for your agencies. So when we are putting this all together, there is two things that should matter to you in our agency portal. When we talk about sales and marketing, use the another powerful word with that, sales and marketing, we call it automation. Because today, sales and marketing or CRN is no good if you're not able to leverage the power of automation. And that's what Insured Mind has ensured that you have that capability and you are able to leverage that for your agency. So now without further ado, let me go ahead and switch to a agency point. Um, so we will start with what we call our pipeline. And why don't follow you give a quick overview of what pipeline does and how agencies will be able to leverage um, the pipeline for their for their growth in the revenues yeah thanks Russian you know one of our core missions for this platform is to help agencies in their sales efforts you know to increase conversions and improve their close rates in the shortest time possible so all members and producers of your agency will have the same process so what you're seeing here um, is our deal board, and it's not a one-size-fits-all because some agencies may want to have multiple deal boards. Maybe they want to have one for sales, uh, one for personal lines, one for commercial lines, one for service, 
maybe even one for claims, or if they have a life insurance specialist, then they might have um, the life uh, person utilizing their own deal board. And so what you're also seeing on the screen is the funnels or the different stages. And so we're in a demo platform. And so you can create however many funnels you want. And as you move your clients through the funnels, then you'd be able to come into a deal card, take the information, and from within that deal card, you're going to collect all the information on the customer, any notes that you make, any text message you send, any phone calls, any emails, any scheduling or calendar events all come out and stay within that lead. And as you nurture them and they become clients, everything that you've done with them also stays. So these are um, each deal card and you can move them to the different stages. You can assign a task um, to somebody else in the office to assist you uh, with that. Um, there is also the ability to filter and there's also analytics wrapped around it. So Russian, why don't you talk a little bit about the analytics because I think that's the power of, of the pipeline. And so Absolutely, Paula. Thank the, you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So it's important, right, guys? You know, when we are, when we are working on a on any kind of activity, it's important to know what is my benchmark or what is my baseline and how well am I doing to improve myself or where are the things that I need to improve upon. You know, knowing those root causes and identifying those root causes so you can get better is always our goal but it had never been this easy. So what we are looking at is with these different stages and the deals within it, we'll go into the details in a bit, but let's try to look into the deal charts. So what does that tell me? In the last 30 days, so you can pick up whatever time period you want, but in the last 30 days, let's say if we pick that up, this is telling me what has been my deal conversion. So literally I have 69.2% uh, deal that I have won in this period. And if I click on that, everything you may have noticed so far is anything that is orange is clickable. And everything we have done so far is always clickable because we have iterated your activities over and over again in our processes, in our UX uh, user experience. So we know exactly what next you're gonna be clicking. And so that's how it has been designed. So, <clears throat> Um, there is a hand raise. I'm going to come back to that in a bit. Give me just a couple of seconds here, Jan. Um, um, and feel free to uh, jump in and type in your question if you, uh, if that helps. Um, <clears throat> so what we are looking here is, this is the deal, and obviously, you know, guys, ignore the content in this because this is just a demo site. Um, so what you got out here was you were able to click on the 62% and you got your list of the deals that you want who won those deals, what was the value of that, and similarly, you will be able to get your lost deals. And you can go into the details. I'll not click on it because I wanna keep that 360 view of a client or a contact and come back to that in a bit. Um, next one is about looking at at what stage am I losing? So red, we always know it's a sign of danger. You know, something not working good. Obviously, it's a sign of loss here. So we know at what stage am I losing my deals? At, so if I'm losing early, that means I have not done well to nurture or bring them in. If I'm losing at the later stage, that means I have not presented them the best options. So that itself was a wonderful insight for me to know at what stage am I losing my deals and how many am I? So, you know, that just really uh, get those analytics going for me. And now I know what I need to do to improve. Similarly, looking at um, reports by <clears throat> labels, you will be able to label all your deals so you know where you're getting a lot of deals from. So in this case, I'm getting a lot of leads from Bob's referral. This is the guy I wanna take him to a, you know, I don't wanna say to a, probably a club, um, but you know, for a dinner, you know, I wanna make him feel good. I wanna make him happy, you know, because that I'm getting a lot of leads from him. So that's important that you understand through analytics um, what is working, what is not, so you can make those data-driven decisions. 
Um, this another two is equally interesting is deal activities. This is telling me how many emails did I send in the last 30 days? How many files did I attach? How many notes did I create? I said no text message. So in a good month, that is when I want to come back and look into what has actually happened because that is going to tell me what winning looks like. That's what I want to replicate month after month. Um, same thing here, loss reason you know so if you want to look into what are the reasons you lost whether it was because you didn't have the expertise whether it was the price competition whether market was not available whatever it could be knowing those just helps you know what you want to do next so that's <clears throat> in a nutshell is what reports are um, <clears throat> if you want to go deeper into each of these deal board apollo if you're to give an insight what they can accomplish within a deal board yeah, so this is where you intake all of your information on your uh, prospects. And so on the left-hand side, you know, the line of business, all of the contact information, their personal details are here. Um, we have the ability to uh, have a checklist. So that checklist kind of keeps the person on task that maybe they need these five things for an auto quote. So it kind of uh, keeps them on task for that. If you need to assign a task to somebody else, you can do that within here. Yeah. And then let's on the right hand. Let's do a task here, yep. Paula. Okay. Um, let's say upload um, uh, BOR to management system. And we will assign it to Jake and we will select the priority and just add some more description. It is a PDF and put in a date for tomorrow. Um, you can add it to your calendar as well, so it will show up on your calendar, but you know everything does not need to be there. So we'll just save this. So now this got created right here, upload VR. Um, so the two things which is important as uh, Paula was talking about is not only it created a task for Jake, so if I click on this, it will take me to my task list. Now I know there is a VR uploaded for San Diego that Jake needs to do. So when Jake logs in, instead of me, he will be able to see that it is assigned to him that he needs to do. And he can, once he's done, he will come here and mark this as done and it will be marked up. And you, for yourself, you can use, we'll come back to task list in a bit, but just gives you a perspective of how you are able to go back and forth and be able to do your task, mark it done, go back right from here to your deal task. Back to you, Paula. Thanks, Roshan. Yeah, it, I, I live in this platform as well, and tasks keep me on track, so um, feature is awesome. Uh, if you call and you make a note, there's the ability to make notes. You can send an email out of here because we uh, tie your email um, to this platform as well. Yep. And then uh, uh, one of the newer features or you can make a phone call. Mm -hmm. And the best thing about the phone calls is they're recorded and they stay right within this client. So that's great e &O protection. Yep. There's um, the ability and then you know, to send a text. And a quickly touch base of the checklist here, Paula. And so, as I was saying earlier, the checklist, you know, keeps you on track. So if it's an auto, you can customize the checklist and maybe you need uh, five different things um, to complete the tasks uh, for this quote process. And you can import that checklist and then whoever's working in this deal card can stay on track to make sure that they have um, met all those requirements. And then anything you do is in the middle of the screen. Any activities yep. you've had, follow this prospect until they become a client. Awesome, all right, awesome. Uh, so just a couple more things to add over here is about the drip campaign. So you can run a drip campaign, which is sending a sequence of email that is pre-designed, pre-scheduled. You can just fire it off right from here and be able to track what is happening, who's opening and clicking on it. So let's go ahead and add a drip which means let's say we are um, welcoming a client from here, or let's say just uh, we are at a stage one change. 
um, and you can assign that and that will be, so stage one change uh, deal is assigned and you can go and open the analytics. Stage one change, These are this is the email that will go out. You can stop it at any point of time. So th those things helps you keep track and you don't have to go to a whole campaign module or do that right from here, you are able to fire off. And that leads to your final action would be about winning or lost. So if you click win, you will be able to start your drip campaign of winning and that will introduce them to your agency and you know you can have a day zero, day 15, day 30, day 45 sequence where you are telling them about your agency, about the policy and several other things. And unfortunately we do lose business. And so what happens when we lose business? You can mark this for a reason why you lost it and then it, you can put it in your exit date and it will come back when your exit date is uh, matured. So that's in a nutshell is what deal board is all about. Um, again, there's done more you can do. As I said, you know, you, there is a shared version of it where all team is collaborating. This is your personal deal board. You can have multiple deal boards. You can just um, compact this so you can run a few more filters around it. Say, I want to just see all my winnings or I want to see all my in process. And then yeah, I want to see only which is due this week. Or I want to see everything that got um, uh, from Bob's referral. So I'm sure you guys are doing a lot of, um, let's say a mortgage guy referral and he wants to know, hey, I gave you five leads last week. Where are they? You can just literally come here and click on Bob's referral and you'd know where at what stage each of those leads are. Just a simple, because I have spoken to agencies and trust me, some of these guys spend hours every week trying to compile that list of when they need to send it to a broker uh, where each of your clients are. So hey, I'll Russian, take a we have a pause question. here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, go ahead, please. So someone asks about what information gets imported to Hawksoft, you know, so they don't have to have duplicate data entry. Good question. Um, so at this point, we are bringing all this uh, book of business and your, um, so, so let me take a step back and talk about your integration. So today we do not uh, do a back and forth API driven integration with Hawksoft. Having said that, I believe that is a very short term event in a very near future that will change. There is no commitment from anyone, but that is what we we are expecting that will happen in a very short time. Um, so cross your fingers and wait for that good news to come very soon to you, each of you. Um, having said that, now are we able to engage to bring the data? The answer is yes. We are able to bring data from your agency management system, Hawksoft, to our platform. Um, and that is your book of business. So anything that you are seeing here, there is no data that we are not able to bring from Hawksoft. Hope that answers your question. So, but feel free to um, follow up on that, Jacqueline, if you have more questions on that. Yeah, that's a very important topic, and I will dive deeper into that in a bit. But just wanted to go through some of these uh, functionalities. Um, let me run a quick poll here to ask um, how many of you are using a CRM outside your management system today? So there are three questions. One is how many are using a uh, CRM outside your management system? Second one is do you have any automation built into your system? And third one is top three automation multiple choices. So I'll leave that open for next couple of minutes while we talk about some other aspects. All right. Um, so that was in a nutshell about the deal board uh, and sales funnel. We are also integrating to bring a lot of leads from your um, other sources through APIs, so you know it will feed directly into this. Um, second thing is also about opportunities as we talked. So this is all about your current book of business, how you are able to use a lot of uh, current book of business and identify where those opportunities exist. I'm sure a lot of you at least desire to dig deeper into your current book of business so you can have more cross-sell and upsell because you know that's the holy grail. The more business you have, obviously it brings more revenue, but it increases retention for sure. So it's important to have that kind of perspective. So let's click on cross-sell. 
what does that tell me so when i click on cross sell it tells me in the next 30 days 600 policies will expire that's a good size of the book but let's see what can we do now we are talking about cross sell so i'll apply a filter where i'll say that you know show me only homeowners that do not have auto that's a classic 101 cross sell category right where home but no auto policies let's see how many of us have in this list home but no auto and i'm sure you saw it just in a snap it pulls the results now it is 228 policies um, that is home but no auto that became your wonderful candidate now you want to fire this off for your cross sell campaign so this was just an example to tell you that you can do this all day long based on all the categories of policies you are selling today. Keep doing it. Um, so this gives you a perspective of what, what you can accomplish. So I do see we have 46% voted. So guys, feel free to um, wrap your polling so we can wrap that up pretty quickly. Um, so that's on uh, opportunities. Again, we can spend another six to eight hours going through the each functionality. So I'm just trying to touch uh, on the or highlight some of those key ones so we can give you a perspective of the power of insured mind that it is capable of delivering with your management system <clears throat> for you for all of you. So let's take a talk about engagement. This is again a very powerful smooth uh, functionality that has been built here because no agency, and I'll say this at the top of my lawn here, no agency will survive. I'm not even talking about thriving. I'm talking about surviving. No agency will survive in five years if you have not built a good communication system which has automations, which has the right drip, right campaigns for your clients. The days are gone where the business was run one-on-one. -on -one. Now we know what has happened in the last 60 days. If you think digitization will come at its face, it just gave a punch on our face that I'm here. So this becomes way more important how we are communicating through email, through text messages, through phone calls, through voicemails, and how all that is coming together. So. When we talk about um, engagement, engagement to me has four elements. One, who are we communicating with, which is the customer segment, which is the list. What are we communicating, which is the templates, what content does it uh, have? How are we communicating, which is what method are we applying? Uh, whether it's through an email campaign, through bulk text, whether it's through an automation, is a standard work email, single contact drip, what are those? And when we are sending it, which is sequencing all of this, so we are learning from the previous email and then firing my next email or my next text message. What is that reaction that we are getting so we can respond to it? <clears throat> One of the poll results I wanna share with you all, which is not appalling, but it is appalling because um, that's the state of the affair, which is we, I see 71% today do not have a CRM. And you all understand today that we live and breathe client. That is the center of our world. And so it is equally important that we manage our client information in a way that helps us to be on top of every basic detail that is changing. So we are able to make sure the coverage, we are able to make sure the communication is top notch. And I'm sure as we continue on the progress of this uh, poll, that number is barely going to change. If, in fact, it may increase to, I have seen as much as 80, 85%. All right, um, back to this customer segmentation. So what you see here is, again, how we are slicing and dicing our data. One thing I want to make a note here that when you leave uh, this webinar and the 
the session. There is one thing I want each of you to go home with, which is you may have noticed everything that is designed here is designed with a very meticulous thinking that most of the activities that we need to accomplish needs to be maximum three clicks away. And that's how we accomplish most of it, whether it's in the engagement, whether it's in the sales funnel, whether it's in the dashboards, everything is accomplished in three clicks. Um, so now talking about creating lists, well, you can add as many filters as you want, whether it's location, whether it's a tag, whether it's a category of policy, carriers, let's say Mercury just increase the price. You can just pick Mercury from the list here of your carrier if you are selling Mercury. Yep, and that is the only category that will get selected here. So you can see there are 14 guys who bought Mercury from you. And this is the list you are really now intending to send in communication. You can send a multi-stage communication. So you can add, and your second stage can be sent to stage one guys who have received and not opened or received or not clicked. So now you can see the behavior of your second email will be determined or the, you know, the action will be determined by the behavior of your first emails um, by the user. And that's so important that, you know, you are just not randomly sending things out without knowing what has happened to the previous one. Um, and then you can add your templates, you can add the subject. So let's pull one template here on the welcome message. We pull that template and then you put in your signature and you can have multiple signatures, whichever is validated. Pull a sequence of guys uh, from your list and bam, it's ready to, with tag you can use and ready to send. And it will give you wonderful analytics to tell you how many of those guys have opened your email, how many have clicked on it. I can go into the details of knowing who those, again, forget about what you're seeing here, but you get a feel of what that would look like. Um, interesting is here to look at automation. So automation is basically set it and forget it, which means uh, once I set up the birthdays for all my client, I don't have to look back because every day at 10 a.m., it will send email to all those guys whose birthdays today. Um, same thing with the renewal. If we set it at minus 45 days, it's gonna send an email to minus 45 days guys um, hey, your policy is about to expire in, minus four, uh, in 45 days. Um, do you want us to review with you? Anything has materially changed. The referral request, client turning 65, cross-sell, welcome clients, thank you, Google review. I'm sure a lot of you may be paying today for Google review. This comes absolutely free with this. So save some money out there. You can just build your own custom automation in however way you want. So that's um, in a nutshell is what you can uh, do in your automation. But you know, I wanna show you, I'm sure several of you have used um, MailChimp and you're used to building some beautiful uh, HTML based templates. So let's look at that. This is what you can do here. This is just a shell. Or you can use some of these fancy ones and make those changes um, to make it look like what you wanna send. and you can change each of those basic stuff and add your, your stuff. And then not only you can make those changes, you can see them, how they would look as an email. On a, on a cell phone as well as in an email. Kind of neat. All right. Um, single drip is the same way where you built a sequence of email, but um, you are not sending it because you're not assigning it to a list. What you would end up doing is, let's say you're talking to a client. Um, I called Moses and I was on a call with him and I realized this guy, um, let me take out a couple of tweets, just too many. Um, I just realized that, you know, he would be a wonderful candidate for life insurance. So a sign single drip, I'll go and pick up that, um, I don't know if I have one here. Um, so let's say he just got onboarded. I'll start him a welcome plan and assign him. And that's fired right from there. As simple as that. 
you can build your welcome client drips or whatever it is, and you can just fire it right from here. So now, um, another couple of minutes, let's spend on going into 360 view of Moses. So this gives me a complete view of so I was talking to a client, well, a prospect yesterday, and he said, you know, hey, I sent all these emails to client. Will I be able to see all that? I said, yes. The answer is, you will see all the emails that you have sent to this guy um, right here in the event section um, in the send email. All, um, not send email, I mean, all this email right here. So this will show all the emails that you have sent to this guy right here in a consolidated way. So all these things are getting captured, overview of the policies, documents. You can add a document. Let's say we go ahead and add a PDF. Let's say we add this. And then you can turn on the visibility, which means now client can see on the mobile app and in their customer um, app on the web portal as well. Or you can send them an email it right from here. <clears throat> You can sequence events from here, send email, add activities, add tasks, add files, text them from here. All the cards or all the deals that you have done, um, you can see it right here. Um, other details you can capture, chat history, all the campaigns. So we just ran him a new new uh, aid client campaign, right? So you can see it right here. You'll be able to send it. What's the status of each of those and any changes that is being made here. So that covers, you know, on the 360 view of it. Um, another thing I wanna show you before we go into the dashboard is scheduler. I'm sure several of you are paying probably what, 15 bucks for Calendly today. If you sign up with Insured Mind, that comes literally free to you. This is a Insured Mind built Calendly that is free for you. Let's look into what that Calendly looks like. You can pick your slot, confirm, and you're good. So this is what you get, right? For 15 bucks, you can create as many Calendly you want, and you will be able to use those um, and customize it if you need to. All right. Um, last but not the least, I kept the best for the last, which is the dashboard, which is to tell you the story of your agency how well we are doing, what we need to do. So this, in a snapshot, is giving us a perspective of what this uh, business is all about. How well am I doing? Well, look at this policy by expiration. This chart is, I think, is the best chart. I, I love this because this, in one graph, tells me everything I need to know about my agency, which is how many policy, by what line of business is going to expire in which month. So if I'm clicking on this July, in auto, I can see there are 250 policies. But what if I click entire July? It will give me the list of all the policies in July, 595. And I can just click on this and it will open the list or I can just click on this email icon and it will send an email to these guys. Isn't that neat? It is also telling me the X dates, if you have any, how many will you have in which month. This, I love this one too, which is about how many policies are expired, um, I'm sorry, how many emails are missing from client uh, record or how many phone numbers are missing. So this is just click that 4% and you know how many, who those guys are. Isn't that need to just fill that information as available? Policy by line of business, click on it and you know who those guys are in auto. Pull that list up. This map tells you where your clients are. Click on that and you can just pick that Valley Forge and it will show up those three guys. Um, same thing by carrier by business share. Your task list all coming together here. Your demogra uh, customer demographics by gender, by age. So you know you can just pick, let's say if you wanna do some life insurance policy, pick some um, elder elderly segment here and just fire off those campaigns or your goal, you know, for your employees, you set up for, let's say May, we have 4,500 per guys and five deals. We know where each of those guys stand today. Or in a leaderboard, I can see in the chart view, how many of them are, what, what they have accomplished and what is left. 
All right, and then is your customer 10, uh, 10 top 10, which is you know your top 10 premium client, top 10 policy client, retention, and client visit. So that's in a nutshell is, again, I can spend another six hours, as I said, going back and forth on this, but I, what I wanted to do was give you guys a perspective of what it is capable of. Couple quick things I will touch base and then I will open up for questions. Um, I will switch here to my computer here. So as we talked about, there is this agency portal with all these features. Then we have a mobile app, which has again a policy wallet, customer service uh, element in it with tools and cards. Third thing I want you all to have a notice of this because this usually gets eliminated in our demo is talk about, it will give you a plan portal. It will give you a Google review iframe. So you, all the Google reviews coming to you will show on your website. It will give you a website uh, link, uh, which for all your agents, they will be able to use that for their SEO ranking. And now we are also with uh, coming up, as I said, with the ePay, uh, kind of a thing where uh, using Transpay that will help you with the agency bill. This is an important slide I want each of you to look at. I, I know we are talking hot sauce, but also want to give you a perspective of some of the management system where we have uh, what we call as two-way integration, whether it's uh, QQ Catalyst, 360, both from Vertafor, then Technary, Verona, are both Salesforce, and then now search is an AWS based system that we have a uh, two-way integration, which means it's kind of a real-time sync back and forth. Um, these are some other tech partners that we work very well with, or it's a part of the integration. So uh, whether it's Transpay, Twilio, Lightspeed, RingCentral, um, connected with any any email system, whether G Suite, Exchange, or Yahoo, whatever you use. Um, for hand cards, we have thanks.io, and for marketing material, we, we integrate with agency marketing machine. This, if you are using any of these guys, you know, for sure you can save money by switching to insured mind because uh, everything that you want to accomplish, the one of the biggest disadvantages, most of them do not talk to your management system. Zapier may be the one solution, but we all understand sometimes that's a chaos. Um, I have a question here. Um, I'll take that in a minute. Hold on one second. Um, and then talk about you know the pricing, which is $35 per user per month. Uh, we do a minimum of six, but we do have some flexibility for Hawksoft users. Um, so give us a call and talk, and we will be more than happy to look into that and talk through that. So let me talk, uh, take your question, and I'll take that to that integration slide as the question pertains to that. Um, how? How do your integration work? Is it an upload and download? Um, good question. So the it's kind of an upload and download through a secure FTP, but it is not that you will have to do on a daily basis. It will be automated. So we will take care of it. You just know that your know, data will be refreshed. And obviously it will be a short term pain, I would say, because um, in a midterm we should be expecting, again, I don't want to set up any wrong expectation, but we do expect, you know, some uh, integration will happen sooner than later. Um, if we have anyone from Hawksoft leadership or anyone, I don't know, uh, anyone want to make any comment on the integration? All right, I'm not sure Russian. if I'm seeing yeah. anyone. Yeah. I don't see anybody yeah. that's answering for you, but there was a question that came into the chat um, about um, emails and, um, you know, the email works seamlessly. So can you talk a little bit about how you assign the email platform Absolutely. to the so, uh, insured mine? Yeah, so good question. Let me switch here. And somebody also said they need to talk. So. Uh, I know there are a couple of questions bombarded, so hold on. And, you know, I'm going to come back to you all. Let me switch my screen here. So um, you are able to see my screen. So you go to the settings here, as you can see. Um, 
it's connected with insured my Roshan at insured mine and these are all the options whether you're using G Suite, Microsoft Exchange, Yahoo Outlook, Office 365 or IMAP, it will let you connect. But I just think we all have right. to unmute um, Wendy because she wants to uh, answer your question. Sure, absolutely Wendy, give me one second. All right, Wendy, I think you should be able to talk now. Hi, this is Kenneth Hendricks from Hawksoft. Um, it's pulled over a weird name for me. Um, yeah, uh, so, you know, Hawksoft, we have a commitment to another vendor um, that blocks us from integrating at this time with um, any, any vendor who offers a, a mobile app to insureds. Um, so it's not, we don't single out insured mine on that. Um, Roshan and I have a, have a really good relationship, um, but we're, we're just not permitted to talk integration at this time. Um, it'll something that will clear up in the third quarter of this year, and then we'll be able to pursue integration with the vendors that have been blocked up until then. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Kenny. I appreciate your answer on that. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, Wendy, um, are you able to speak now? Uh, I I think mine is coming through as Wendy. Um, something ah, really okay. With, uh, yeah, something's weird with my no Zoom. Problem. I think uh, that's me. Man, I have no doubts on you. Uh, whose ID you are using? <laughs> um, Javed, uh, you have a question, I guess. You raise your hand. Feel free to unmute yourself. Um, can we unmute you? I think I have unmuted you, so feel free to talk when you're ready. All right, um, I have a couple other yeah, questions on this. Do you, uh, yeah, go ahead, please. Sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is Javi. Actually, I don't know if I missed that part. That uh, can we, you know, send a lender invitation to text message? Your voice is breaking up, Javed. I can barely hear you. Your voice is scrambled. I was just asking that uh, if we can establish uh, the invitation, you know, the follow up side for the I still can't. Sorry, I still can't make out. Can you write the question, please? So, Javid was asking okay. a question, um, Roshan, in the Zoom um, chat about calendar invitation. Okay. Is it through text message or email? Um, email. Uh, yeah. But yes, we, uh, you can do it through text message as well, because it's just a link like Calendly link. So you can make it a part of your signature, you can make it a part of a text message or your email, whatever you want. All right, um, let me take another question from uh, anonymous attendee here. Well, you should name yourself, but that's okay. Uh, do, uh, do your larger agencies have issues with that, uh, blacklisting at all? Um, can you explain that a bit, uh, whoever that was? What are you, what do you mean by that? I'm not sure if I'm following your question. All right, um, we'll come back to that. Next one is, so will these upload and download be happening on a daily basis by insured mind? Um, uh, so until the integration is done and if you are Guys, if, put it on mute if you're not speaking, please. Yeah, thanks. All right. Um, so if you are uh, if you are on a Hawksoft cloud or a Hawksoft uh, on-premise version, you know, I think one of them we are doing weekly and another one we are doing um, on a daily basis. But I'm not sure at this point which one is which. But yes, one we are doing on a daily basis. And I hope that pain just goes away very soon. Uh, so, uh, coming back to Roger, your question, how do you compare to agency Zoom? That's a very good question, and I will leave that for agencies to make that comparison because that do happen occasionally, but um, I think um, uh, you have seen that the focus for us is all about bringing all those four modules together, sales, engagement, analytics, and mobile, 
Um, I think the way we put together the dashboards um, with the data and all of these features that we talked about, you may be able to probably touch base on several of those, but in depth that we go in, it's um, it's uh, it's something at a different level. And then I don't think it's uh, it's correct to for me to comment on their product. Any other question? Uh, Yeah, Alejandra had a question about yeah. the setup fee, and then Brett also talked a little bit about pricing. So, what's included in the platform, and then you know what is the setup? Uh, good question. Thank you. Thanks, Paula, for uh, moderating those quest chat questions. So, the setup fee, uh, fee is five hundred dollars at an uh, for every ten agents. So, if you are a ten agent agency, it's five hundred, and your uh, base is let's say if you are a ten agent, it's three hundred fifty, thirty five times ten. And if you are a 20 agent agency, your setup fee is $1,000 and it's 700 user uh, for the user fee. So that's at a very flat of 35 per user and it's a 500 per 10 user base. All right. Um, got another few minutes. So um, Brent, I see you got a question, is that all? Um, is all that you discussed included in the pricing you discussed or are some of the modules an additional price? Good question, Brent. Everything we discussed is included. There is no second pricing to our product. And uh, the good part is we are continuing to expand and, and add features on a regular basis. So everything will come at the price that you have paid. There is no additional fee. I'm just gonna take, uh, give you guys a quick peek into what's new when we say, you can look into, um, let me go back to release notes, um, 2020. Just in 2020, so this is April, we have released so many things. In February, another 20 items. In January, another 50. So all this new features or enhancement is coming at insured mines cost. It is just as an add-on service coming to you for free. So we'll continue to do that because I think there's a long way for us to go to make this where it needs to be an ideal situation, a solution for each of you. But that will not be an extra cost. All right, Brandon, you have, would you still, I uh, need to have a Twilio account and the cost of that or an, uh, sending text included in the base fee. Um, if you are using it for a base, um, like for example, the guy who started using it for 70,000 text messages, you know, at that point, you know, it was outside our standard usage. That's why he paid it and he was pretty cool because he made a lot of money out of that. But if you're just using it for standard basic day-to-day -day texting, uh, 1,000, 2,000 text, uh, that's not an issue. It will be covered in the base price. All right, um, and Twilio, we will do that integration that all cost of is on us. So you don't have to do any of those. We can take a couple more questions. What if, uh, okay, so I see here, Roger, your question is, what if you are a two person agency? Um, as I said, usually uh, what we have done is it's a six agent agency, but you know, for Hawkstaff, we we have been uh, considering this and we will be flexible. So if you are less than six, we will consider um, at a, a, a having in the, uh, in the pro program as well. The price will be a bit different and we can have that conversation. All right. Um, can you use the business number for texting? Uh, yes, good question, Roger. So if you already have a number that you wanna use for texting, um, I don't want to promise you that number will be uh, ported because it happens sometimes, sometimes it does not, but most likely if it happens, we will be able to bring that in and you can use the same number. In fact, I'll give you a very uh, 
smart thinking here. And I know Hawksort has a good text message uh, feature already built in. I don't know. Probably, Kenny, you can throw some light on. Do you guys use one number for the entire agency for all the agents? Uh, yes, that's correct. So by default, um, Hawksoft yeah. text messaging uses one number um, by agency. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, you will have the similar capability where you can have just one number, but it gets routed, that message will get routed to that agent specific who owns that particular account. That's great, Kenny. Good to hear that. Awesome. All right. Um, good question. How do you get hold of me? Um, it was the, um, there is two email addresses that you can reply to. One is support at insuredmind.com or paula at insuredmind.com. Both are lightning fast. Is that correct, Paula? Oh, sorry, I was laughing while I was on mute, and that's absolutely true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, any other? I see the questions coming in. Yeah, yeah, Paula, thanks for writing that up. See, there you go. Yeah, and Paula should be your uh, first point of contact. She should be able to, again, um, so let me, are we sharing any screen right now? Which, just wanna make sure. So let me bring it back here and you will have the, so one of the two you can connect with us. Um, and I put my email in the, in the chat for everyone to see as well. Perfect, perfect, thank you. All right, um, this is great. Hey, thank you for all this uh, question. We have a couple more minutes, um, but before I wrap up, I do want to acknowledge um, this opportunity given to us um, by Hawks of User Group and everything you guys have done. Wonderful audience. Last year, we just had a blast. It's just unfortunate we did not have this event this year. I was so looking forward to it. But nevertheless, you know, it's always wonderful conversation with the group members as well as with the leadership, you know, uh, Kenny, Rushang, Paul, all of these are wonderful people you know, have loved working. And again, I think it's a wonderful addition to have Amelia, you know, she is just mind blowing, you know, I just love working with her. So thank you, Amelia, for setting this up, making this so hugely successful. I was not expecting this kind of a huge audience, but thank you for making that happen. Did you did you tell them that you're gonna be giving them a, like what Starbucks gift card or what? So many people showed up. I'm not sure. You might want to take her off a mute. Oh, <laughs> Give her a yeah, chance. allow her to talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Amelia, you. you are unmuted. Okay, can you hear me? Uh, yes, we do. Oh, thanks for the shout out. That was nice. No, I did not bribe anyone. I just, um, you know, you guys are such so great and you have an awesome product and um, we just really value our partnership with you guys. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's mutual. All right. Um, any last question before we wrap up here? All right. Um, if not, um, let me make sure I'm not. Yeah, Starbucks just opened. Yeah, there you go, Roger. Thank you. Yeah, I know there was something fishy. Uh, that just missing. Uh, thank you, Amelia. Anyways, hey, um, thank you all. Uh, so, uh, Kenny, I'm not sure if anyone else is from Hawksoft. If not, you know, I wanna give you a quick opportunity. You know, um, and thank you. And any closing word. Uh, to everyone out here before we wrap up. Um, yes, um, this was a, a great presentation. It's always um, a pleasure to see where your product is going. Um, you know, I I look forward to the day when we can have a, a deeper relationship between our companies. Um, but um, you know, I'm I'm excited that people are seeing 
um, your product and, and seeing how it can benefit their agencies now. And I really appreciate um, your guys' support of our, our HUG organization. Um, you've been with, you've been sponsoring the event for a number of years and, and attending. So uh, we really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, Kenny. And everyone, um, I'm sure the intent of this presentation was to give you guys a perspective of what Insured Man is capable of, but more important than that, it was about to help you all how you can leverage the technology which is existing today along with the management, wonderful management system you have, Hawksoft, and how you can bring these two together and I can commit to you what we have seen as success. You can see that at least 20 to 30% of your business growing and go back to this number. And this is the only takeaway I would say, just look at is if you want to see that conversion, 27%, um, engagement, 20% and 97% retention. Several of you may have those, but any of those data points missing, this is how you bring it together, Insured Mine and Hawksoft. With that, thank you for your time. And thank you for being a part of it. I'm looking forward to hear from several of you to get you guys on board it.